In this video, we're going to introduce you to the pedestrian system that should be available on the Unity Store very soon. So, we have a scene, and within that scene we have a floor, a direction light, and a camera. Once you import the pedestrian system, you'll find there will be a bunch of folders under the pedestrian system folder, and you'll want to navigate to prefabs, base, and drop in the pedestrian system prefab. Now there are a bunch of options over here that we'll go through throughout the video, but first we'll start with generate node. So click on that, and you'll see that there's a node that gets generated within the world. Above this node, there's an uh, there's an icon which is or a model, but we'll just say icon because it relates to the GUI system, uh, which is called edit. And this is using our anchor and edit system that we have developed for road and traffic system, which is a package on the Unity Store. People seem to like it, so we've continued to use it. And at the moment, this is the edit, and it's a node within the world. So let's return back to the pedestrian system and we generate another node and you'll see now that the previous nodes become the anchor and the next nodes become the edit and also you'll see that both of them are linked together now they're going in this direction from the anchor to the edit and from the edit to the anchor there's another link that goes in that direction this is shown by the arrows on each side uh, you can also click on any one of these and reveal uh, the direction that it's going or the link that's there and it shows you as well. You can remove that if you want to so now you can see that the edit is only linked to the anchor in that direction. You can also tell because there's no links when you click on it whereas if you click on the edit there is a link to be revealed and you can actually remove these links. Okay, uh, we want that link back so we will go from edit to anchor which is edit to anchor and create that link again. There we go, the link exists. And let's go back to the pedestrian system, generate another node, and you see that they both change. And we'll generate a few more. And one more. And let's connect it up. So we want to make this one the anchor or the edit doesn't matter, you can connect them up either way. And we want one going in that direction and one going in the other direction. Now you see I only had to click one button and both directions were created. <coughs> Excuse me. Why that is, is because back with the pedestrian system, you have auto linking turned on. So when you spawn a node, it will automatically link them together and also link both directions is turned on which is why whenever you create a link it will try and create the link in both directions if you turn those off that will stop it from automatically being generated for both directions another handy tip is when you get lots and lots of nodes the uh, editor might slow down a bit with all the debug information so you can turn that off so show gizmos okay now we have our path, actually we'll create one more link and we'll turn off both directions because we only want it going from there to there. We link it up and then we have our path. Great. Let's get our camera in the right position so that when we press play we can see it. And we go back to the pedestrian system now. Underneath object prefabs, you can see there is a it is one prefab that we put in there. It's our test object, and he's the samurai using the animator system, which is the newer animation system Unity has. There's a samurai using the old animation system if you want to use that, the old animation, the legacy animation system. And there's a cube, uh, which you can check out if you don't need animation at all. So. We go back to the pedestrian system, we see that he's under the object prefabs. You can have as many different objects under here as you like. It will randomly select which ones to use. And then if you want to see them in action, quickly, you can hit random object spawn per node. That means it'll take every single node that's in the world and it will try and spawn uh, as many 
objects as it can based on what you define here. So number of objects spawned per node is one and this random object spawn chance per node is between zero and 100%. So each time it comes around to the node and says, should I spawn something? Right now there's a 50% chance of something being spawned. Let's bump that up to 100% and see what happens. So one object's been spawned at each of the nodes and they're now all pathing around randomly. Other things you can do is you can have uh, different variable speeds. So you don't have them all walking at the same speed and different variable lane positions. So you don't have them all traversing the exact same position. Uh, I'll come back to that in a sec. Object spawn count uh, max is how many objects will be spawned within the world. If you put one, then there's only going to be one object ever spawned no matter how many nodes you've got. Negative one means unlimited. And if you put, uh, say, 20 objects per, spawn, uh, per node, then you're going to get 20 objects spawned at each node unless you have a count. So there you go. Looks a bit hectic. And just to show that the global speed variation and the lane positioning work, uh, we'll bump that back down to zero. So there's no change in speed per object and no lane position variation either. And they're all in single file, all at same speed. So, let's change that back. And That's uh, that's the main basis of the pedestrian system. You can take a look under the pedestrian object script, which is attached to the pedestrian objects. It uses the same layout as our road and traffic system objects. So if you've used that package before, uh, then you're more than likely going to find this very easy uh, to use. And yeah, there are there are things you can tweak like the different speeds of the object, uh, the randomness of when they start walking, so they don't all start at once and those type of things. But it's uh, it's fairly straightforward. So this package is available on the Unity store soon, and uh, I hope this tutorial video or introductory video is of help for people who are going to use it. Thank you.